plenty of soap. You just put that all over the wheels and it makes the wheels come out nice and shiny. People love it. Hey guys, this is Chris from the Car Wash Chronicles. I'm at my Main Street Car Wash. It's a cloudy day today. We had a little rain before, so it's gonna be quiet. But let's check it out. It's cleared up a little bit. As you can see, there's still plenty of clouds in the sky. But let me show you one of the bays. Let me show you all the functions I have. We've got a 10 function rotary switch with nine functions. We've got the tire cleaner, degreaser, dirt remover, high pressure soap, soap brush, high pressure water, wax, spot free rinse, air dry. And a lot of car washes actually don't have that many functions. They usually just have the high pressure uh, spray yeah. and the soap brush. But I have added the tire and wheel cleaner. And I've also added a strong dirt remover with the air dryers. So for anyone out there who's looking to build a car wash up or start one, I highly recommend putting in the 10 rotary switch because what that's going to do is it's going to give the customers a lot more different options and it's going to keep them in the bays longer. So I'm going to show you exactly how the soap comes out and uh, what kind of product I give the customers. So we'll start with the tire cleaner. Let me flip the camera around. This is how I have mine coming out. Customers seem to love it. Plenty of soap. You just put that all over the wheels and it makes the wheels come out nice and shiny. People love it. Next, let's switch it to the dirt remover. That's gonna come out of this one. And people just love to smother their car in that. Super strong soap. You can see it drip down the car like that and it just leaves it nice and shiny. Another one of the customer's favorites and it smells good too. High pressure soap, that soap that comes out of there. Let's check out the soap brush. This is probably the most popular one behind the high pressure water, of course. So soap brush, as you can see, is starting to come out. And I like to give more soap than not enough because a lot of people try to be stingy and just give a little bit of soap and save some money on the soap but i believe in giving the best product give a lot of soap and the customers will keep coming back so you can see that's quite a bit really covers the car makes it nice and shiny high pressure water wax spot free and air dryer another favorite Pretty powerful, they love to finish off the car with that. So that's pretty much it. So right now I have it on the high pressure rinse, which is what most people use to rinse the car off and just basically get it wet. Um, I like to have it at about 1100 or 1200 PSI. That determines the strength of the power of the water coming out. Um, people love it more then not enough, you know, because it really gets the dirt off. I get a lot of compliments. Oh, the pressure of your water is really great. So that's that's another thing I'm known for here in Hesperia. So I'm going to explain to you what PSI stands for. It stands for pound force per square inch. And you can adjust it inside the motor room here. There's a customer in the bay right now, so it's kind of loud. But let me try and explain with the loud noise. That's the PSI gauge. And because they're using it, you can see it's on about 1100 which is pretty powerful. Now, if I wanted to change it, all I have to do is turn this. That's less and that's more. So it's very, very simple. There's a couple of different types. I also have this type, which you just screw that for less and then screw it up for more. This one's much easier, but because um, you don't need any tools, but that's basically PSI and how you determine how much how powerful the high pressure hose is. So that's gonna be it for today. Basically, I showed you what functions I have at my car wash, how the soap comes out, and how much PSI is the customers like the pressure of the high water hose. So that's pretty much it for Car Wash Chronicles. I'm Chris Atkins, and I'll see you next time.